Hello, anime and manga fans. Welcome to the first real episode of Takesus Tumari in a nutshell, exploring the fantastic world of anime and manga. When most people think about manga or anime, calligraphy probably doesn't really come to mind as the main topic of the storyline. But guess what? It actually makes a great theme to weave a story around. So let's take a closer look at Barakamon and you can decide for yourself. Have you ever experienced feeling totally undervalued, misunderstood and unappreciated, particularly when you have sacrificed countless hours and worked extremely hard only to find that the outcome of your work and effort is not received the way you feel it deserves? Well, if so, you should be perfectly able to relate to Seisho Honda, a 23-year-old professional calligrapher who finds his work being criticized as highly conformist, described as copybook style, mediocre and just plain dull and boring by the elderly director of a local calligraphy exhibit. Seishu snaps, punches the senior in the face and knocks him down. As a result, Seishu is more or less banished by his father to the remote Goto Islands off the western coast of Kyushu in order to help get him grounded and help him come to his senses. Far away from the big city noise of Tokyo, out in the quiet countryside, Seishu gets immersed in the very friendly and colorful local village culture and is quickly more or less adopted by the local children and teenagers who use the house he moved into as their base. Particularly a six-year-old girl named Naru attaches herself more or less instantly to him spending a lot of time at his house, following him around everywhere in the small village and involving him in all kinds of everyday adventures which eventually help Seishu find his own way and his own style. The manga is written and illustrated by Satsuki Yoshino, extends over 134 chapters, has been serialized in Gangan Online published by Square Enix from February 28 to December 2018 and is collected in 18 Tankomon volumes. An English translation is published by Npress. An anime television series covering the first 52 chapters of the manga was created by the production studio Kinema Citrus and originally aired in Japan from July 6, 2014 through September 27, 2014. The series runs for 12 episodes and was directed by Masaki Tachibana, written by Pia Sugiura and features a soundtrack composed by Kenji Kawai. The anime has been licensed for North America by Funimation. A spin-off series called Handakun Exploring Seisho Handa's Youth in High School was published separately both as a manga as well as an anime series and we'll be looking at that in another episode. Japanese calligraphy is often called shodo, which literally translates into the way or the path of penmanship or calligraphy. Sho means penmanship, calligraphy or handwriting, but can also refer to a letter, a note or writings in general, while do represents the individual path or way of life of devoted self-practice with the lofty goals of cultivating self-discipline and ultimately attaining self-perfection. Another less philosophical term for Japanese calligraphy is shuji. While Shuji centers on writing beautifully with balanced characters and clean lines, Shoto focuses on artistic expression attempting to make the characters come to life within a certain topic. Just like the Japanese writing system originated from Chinese characters, the art of Japanese calligraphy has its roots in Chinese calligraphy and shares a lot of the same principles and techniques. Today calligraphy is still a popular class in Japanese elementary and junior high schools. In high schools and universities, Shoto is its own art subject alongside music, theater and painting. Needless to say, it's a highly respected form of art. By the way, apparently Barakamon means cheerful, energetic or easygoing person in the Goto Islands local dialect, which perfectly describes the local people depicted in the series and is the direct opposite of what Honda could be described as at the time he gets there. A story focusing on the exploits of a calligrapher may sound pretty lame at first, but this series is anything but boring. Barakamon is a brilliant, sometimes more and sometimes less serious story about a promising, hard-working young calligrapher who's lost his way and has been turned into a loner by his relentless quest for perfecting his craft. The seclusion of a beautiful remote island combined with making friends of all ages among the resident population and the immersion in the very simple and totally grounded local everyday culture seriously spiced up with a solid dose of everyday chaos caused by the local kids help him change his course in life and steer him in the right direction with his work. If something like that sounds just like your cup of tea, go check out the anime or read the manga or even better yet, do both.
That's all for now, folks. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed this first episode. Stay tuned for upcoming episodes and spread the word. See you next time.